You have been lied to for far too long. They have done everything possible to hide the truth from you. Because once you discover it, they lose control. You will no longer depend on their products, their systems, or their carefully designed illusions. Instead, you will rise as the master of your own destiny, powerful beyond imagination. But first, you must break free from the trap of mediocrity that has been set all around you. The truth is not hidden. It is absolute, and it has always been within your reach. Your mind is not just a tool. It is the most powerful instrument you possess, capable of shattering lies and building the reality you are truly meant to live. For centuries, humanity has grappled with one of the most profound questions. Does consciousness merely observe reality, or does it actively create it? This inquiry, once confined to philosophy and spirituality, has gained surprising support from modern physics. Scientific experiments and theories increasingly suggest that the universe may not be the objective clockwork mechanism we once thought, but instead a participatory reality where observation and awareness play central roles. Perhaps the clearest window into this idea is the famous double slit experiment. When particles like photons or electrons are fired through two narrow slits toward a screen, something astonishing happens. If no one measures which slit the particle travels through, it creates an interference pattern, as though it were a wave passing through both slits simultaneously. However, once a measuring device is placed to observe which slit the particle goes through, the wave-like behavior vanishes, and the particle behaves like a tiny bullet going through only one slit. The implication is startling. The act of observation changes the outcome. Before measurement, the particle exists in a state of superposition, where multiple possibilities coexist. Only when an observer looks does the wave of probabilities collapse into a single concrete result. The experiment suggests that reality at its most fundamental level is not fixed, but influenced by observation itself. If observation determines the manifestation of physical events, what role does consciousness play? Many scientists maintain that it is not necessarily human awareness, but any interaction with a measuring device that collapses the wave function. Yet even this explanation leaves a deeper question. Why does measurement matter at all? What makes the transition from probability to actuality possible? Some interpretations, such as the von Neumann-Weigner hypothesis, go further by proposing that consciousness is the final arbiter in collapsing quantum possibilities into reality. In this view, the universe requires a conscious observer for events to crystallize from potential into actual. Whether or not mainstream science embraces this idea fully, it highlights the radical possibility that our awareness may not merely witness reality, but actively participate in its creation. The late physicist John Archibald Wheeler coined the term participatory universe, suggesting that the cosmos is not a finished product independent of us, but something that emerges through our observation and interaction. Wheeler compared the universe to a grand game of 20 questions, where reality only becomes specific as we continue asking and observing. This model challenges the notion of a detached external universe and instead portrays existence as co-created between matter and consciousness. Bringing this idea closer to everyday life, we can draw parallels between physics and psychology. Cognitive science has long shown that our attention shapes perception. For example, two people may walk down the same street, but notice entirely different things based on their focus. One sees beauty, the other danger. In a sense, their realities differ. Extending this principle, the law of attraction suggests that where we place our sustained mental focus, 
we draw corresponding experiences into our lives. The double slit experiment provides a striking metaphor. Before us lies a field of potential outcomes, like the wave interference pattern. Our thoughts, beliefs, and attention act as the measurement, collapsing these possibilities into specific experiences. While mainstream physics doesn't claim that human intention alone can bend reality, it cannot ignore that observation and interaction are essential for events to manifest. Skeptics might argue that using quantum mechanics to explain consciousness stretches the science too far. Indeed, the quantum world and our macroscopic lives operate on different scales. Yet the parallels remain too powerful to dismiss. Both physics and ancient spiritual traditions converge on the idea that reality is not entirely external and objective. From the Buddhist teaching of mind only to the Hindu concept of Maya, many traditions hold that consciousness plays a fundamental role in shaping the world we perceive. Modern science, through experiments like the double slit, echoes this age-old intuition. If consciousness does help create reality, the implications are transformative. It means we are not passive spectators in a pre-written universe, but active participants in shaping existence. Our choices, beliefs, and awareness matter in ways more profound than we might imagine. Rather than being powerless victims of circumstance, we are collaborators with the cosmos itself. In conclusion, the double-slit experiment, theories of quantum mechanics, and insights from psychology all point toward a profound truth. Reality is not as solid and independent as it appears. Consciousness plays a mysterious yet central role in collapsing possibilities into the tangible world we live in. Whether you view this through the lens of science, spirituality, or both, the message is clear. Our minds are not separate from reality, but are powerful instruments in its ongoing creation.